Item. SCP-256. Object Class. Euclid. Special Containment Procedures. SCP-256 is contained within a cubic chamber 3 meters, 10 featuring on a side, with 1 meter, 3 featuring thick walls composed of a mixture of brick and rubberized layers, with 2 conductive rods sticking out 18 centimeters, 7 in, from the walls to either side of the entrance. Entrance is restricted by soundproof airlock. Chamber is to be constantly under surveillance by EMR device and video camera. Entry and surveillance are restricted to only authorized personnel who have undergone surgical adaptation to resist the effects of SCP-256. To see a list of authorized personnel, see document SCP-256-B. Personnel not on this list may enter if they are security clearance level 3 or above, but must wear sound cancelling earphones. All personnel must be stripped of all electronics, ferrous metals and conductive material. They are also required to wear a specially designed insulated and redirected bodysuit, hazmat airlock, which must be tested before wearing, before entrance and after exit with a significant charge. A taser is supplied and is rated high enough for testing use. The only recording allowed aside from the EMR device is done by hand. SCP standard office paper is suitable, but writing instruments must be non-conductive. Crayons are kept on hand. Description. Move to Site 76 on 0302-2007. SCP-256 is similar to a typewriter in most respects, except that the keys are fixed in position, rather than connected to levers, and instead of a roller and most of the machinery that should be present, two concave copper discs stand on either end, facing inward, 38 centimeters, 15 in, apart, while invisible to the naked eye. EM readings show that a significant electrical charge passes between the copper discs without any conductive medium. If any of the prohibited items are brought into the containment chamber, this current increases in both amplitude and voltage, eventually arcing out and striking the object in question. This is also the reason reinforced concrete was not used in the chamber's construction. As rebar seems to agitate the artifact, it is unknown where the extra energy comes from, or even the initial current, as there seems to be no power generation source within SCP-256. If at any time this current oscillates more than the average peak of 26% on the EMR surveillance, all unauthorized personnel regardless of clearance level must immediately evacuate the chamber. Those who fail to comply are to be terminated at once, again, regardless of security clearance.